Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. All right. So 20 members of Congress introduced a bipartisan bill purported to ban bump stocks. Bump stocks are an add-on piece to a firearm that can make a semi-automatic firearm fire like a fully automatic weapon. The Las Vegas shooter, Stephen Paddock, from what we know about his weapons, he converted a semi-automatic weapon into essentially a fully automatic rifle by using a bump stock. And that's horrible, clearly, and that's tragic. And I do understand the emotional desire we all share, we all feel, to prevent attacks like that from happening again. But this bill is not the way to do that. So the premise of all the headlines using the term bipartisan when they're talking about this bump stock bill is assuming that because representatives on both sides of the aisle support it, that makes it good. Well, that's wrong. That doesn't make it good. And this bill is not good. This bill is fundamentally flawed. Here's why. Now, I've said several times recently that members of Congress aren't stupid. They know what they're doing. They just have ulterior motives. This bill is a perfect example of that. So I'd like to address the fundamental flaws in this bill and prove that Congress is trying to take your guns. There are three fatal errors in this bill. Number one, the authors of this gun control bill claim that they are only trying to outlaw bump stocks. But if you read the actual bill, it never actually mentions the term bump stock. Instead, the law says, and I quote here, it shall be unlawful for any person to manufacture, possess, or transfer any part or combination of parts designed to increase the rate of fire of a semi-automatic rifle. Again, this bill is colloquially called the bump stock ban bill, but it doesn't actually mention bump stocks by name. That would give us our first clue that something is off. Number two, the bill reads and purports to illegalize, quote, any parts designed to increase the rate of fire of a semi-automatic rifle. Well, increase the rate of fire from what? From zero? This bill and the authors of this bill and the 20 co-sponsors, Republican and Democrat, they never define a base rate of fire. So if a judge wanted to take the text at its literal word, any part of semi-automatic weapon that increased the rate of fire from anything, even zero, that could be illegal. That could include triggers, magazines, gas tubes and blocks, buffer springs, charging handers, handles, ejectors and extractors, and that's just to name a few. Without defining a base rate of fire from which we are not allowed to increase, the language of the bill is vague enough that it could lead to a ban on all semi-automatic weapons, period. Number three. So there are also no grandfathering provisions included in the text of this bill. That means that any gun owners who possess any of these parts or combination of parts, which, by the way, are currently legal to purchase and to own, these people automatically become criminals under the text of this law. There's no exception for people who already own a bump stock or any of the other vaguely named parts the authors of this bill don't name by name. This means that government could, under this law, knock on the door of gun owners and forcibly confiscate these parts from American citizens, even though they were purchased and used legally until this bill. That's not even to mention the issues with enforcement of gun control provisions like this one, which would put government in a position of being allowed to use their firepower to confiscate the firepower of the citizenry. It's also ignoring the fact that in New York and Connecticut, two states that passed laws requiring gun owners to register certain types of firearms with the state government, that happened following the Sandy Hook shooting, a large chunk of those gun owners in these very liberal states refused to do this because they thought it was unconstitutional. It's also ignoring the fact, and this is not something I like to admit, but I agree with Senator Dianne Feinstein who said there is no law Congress could pass that would have prevented Stephen Paddock from waging his mass murder attack against the innocent people he killed in Las Vegas. Okay, so as we can see, Congress is not the answer here. The so-called bump stock ban bill is fatally flawed in three ways and could open the door for liberals to confiscate our guns and outlaw semi-automatic weapons altogether. It really isn't about bump stocks at all. And that's my final point. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night.